So now we're working on attacking mount. I prefer this upright posture, particularly Nogi, um, because it limits his options. At the minute, all he can really do to escape is start working his elbow escape by getting the elbow inside my legs, okay? The kipping escape isn't great from here, and bridging may be bridges. Let's go up, okay? So that's what we're looking to do. From here, I would like to take a cross grip on one of his wrists. I can reinforce with the other one if you want, that's totally fine. Um, what I'm looking to do is I want to force his hand outside his shoulder. If I can force his hand outside his shoulder, he becomes really weak, and I'm just leaning on his arm to pin it to the mat. So what I'm looking to do in this position is pin his hands to the mat, okay? So from here, I can take cross grips, I can take double cross grips. If your partner anchors onto their own hand, I can use one to hold the hand down, and the other one to separate, and then look to pin it, okay? From here, I switch from cross wrist grip to a straight wrist grip, and I'm in this position here. Then I can come down a little bit. If your partner uses try to use their other hand to defend, I'm gonna reach through, Catch their wrist, lock up this figure four, and then it's, it's basically the kind of chair set stuff we've done recently. Knee comes up, I go butt cheek to butt cheek, and bring him to here. So I'm in mount, my knees are tied to his body, I don't want him getting his elbows in, we'll deal with that in a second, and my feet are tucked into his hips here. From here, I take grips on his wrist. I can double up on it if I need to, and pin it down. If he is connecting his hands, I need to take double cross grips, pin one down, depending on where his grip is, and I separate the hands here, okay? If the person is super strong, you can't separate them, just lean on them, move them around. It's not like you can do anything in this position, and eventually they'll get annoyed and just give up and kind of maybe try to escape. Pin the wrist down, pin the hand, and I'm looking to scoop underneath his head here, okay? If he reaches for my hand, I capture it, my hand's underneath his head, strip the grip, Go to this uh, figure four grip, and my knee slides up beside his head here. My foot hooks into his hip, and I'm in this perpendicular angle. I go butt cheek to butt cheek, ending up on his back. 